What I want to talk to you about tonight, I want to tell you what we think we know and what there is to guess and how one goes about guessing it. Going back to Richard Feynman, the indispensable physicist who says that science alone teaches the danger of belief in the infallibility of the greatest teachers of the preceding generation. Are there other scholars that this is their field of research who yeah. say this James guy's totally mistaken here? Yeah, all of them. All, all, of, them. all okay. of them know he's a complete clown. If it disagrees with experiment, it's wrong. In that simple statement, is the key to science. I'm telling people who have spent 40 years working on a project, it's a bunch of nonsense. I'm presenting them with their own data. It's embarrassing to these people. It is not his expertise, nor in his authority, to flippantly dismiss as he attempts to do. It's true, however, that one has to check a little bit to make sure that it's wrong, because someone who did the experiment may have reported incorrectly. The very researchers themselves look at the data and they see one thing and they write another. Try to follow with me the data, not what they say, but what they actually made. I did correspond with a number of Origin of Life researchers, so obviously a couple of them agreed to appear in the videos, but I talked to a lot more. I was able to speak with Stephen Benner, an enormous figure in this field. It doesn't make a difference how beautiful your guess is, it doesn't make a difference how smart you are, who made the guess, or what his name is. If it disagrees with experiment, it's wrong. So I had a little bit of uh, coaching from them, and well, not coaching, but just like they help reinforce. The, they want to see this kind of rhetoric squashed as well. Science begins by assuming the ignorance of experts. 